Thames. And today, Meghan Markle will join her fiancé, Prince Harry, alongside the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge as the couple carry out their first official engagement together. Um, they are going to be discussing the work of the Royal Foundation, the organisation behind the Heads Together mental health campaign, uh, United for Wildlife and the Invictus Games. So what might we learn about Meghan's future royal role? A historian and editor of the Crown Chronicles website, Victoria Howard, joins us now. Morning to you. Hello. Morning. Is this a significant day? Absolutely. So this is Meghan's real first step in her royal charitable career. Of course, she's no stranger to it. She did a lot of charitable work as an actress as well. But um, this is her first real step in saying, actually, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to do work. Mm. This is what I'd like to do. Is it unusual, Victoria, for her to be uh, sort of putting herself out there at this stage? Because obviously they're not married yet. Um, mm -hmm. She is still... It's still Meghan Markle and their royal highnesses. Yes. So is, is it sort of breaking protocol a little bit or just a, a um, slightly different route? Protocol, I wouldn't say. A different route, definitely. So it took the Duchess of Cambridge um, sort of six, nine months before she announced her first patronages, whereas Meghan seems to have gone both feet, you know, both feet first into this, this royal career. Mm. And I, I suspect we might even have a couple of royal announcements on what sort of areas she might want to work in. Um, you're probably guessing at this stage, but what do you, what do you think that might be? Well, with Meghan, she used to run her own blog called The Tig, which gives us a real insight into her, her life. And some of the areas that she enjoyed were food, so maybe nutrition is something she might look into. Um, the Royal Foundation works with um, young people in sport. That's one of their mm -hmm. um, areas of focus, so that links in nicely. Her mother is a social worker slash um, cl clinical therapist. Again, mental health, something the, the Royal Foundation is passionate about, so that would be a great area too. And sustainability something that she wrote about. Um, Prince Charles, obviously, his environmental causes are very important to him. Mm. That might be a, a way that they might team up. Do you think she might make a speech today? Because there have been several rumours that... I don't know whether she'll actually sort of come out and speak or whether mm. it would just be an announcement of patronage, like you say. It could be. Um, she's, As I say, she's definitely going at this. She's really keen to get on with her job. So there's definitely a chance she might maybe introduce herself and and make those announcements herself. Uh, the other big thing which everyone's talking about at the moment is, of course, the wedding. Yes. Um, and I think we've had today that Mel B was saying that the Spice Girls have been invited to the wedding and there's a huge list of who might be there, who might mm -hmm. not be there, is Donald Trump going to get it, all, <laughs> all these sorts of things. But I suppose that is all part of the build-up to what will be a huge event in May. Absolutely. So maybe the Spice Girls are performing at the evening do, who knows? Um, but it's it's... There's politics involved with this as well, like any family wedding. Who do you invite? Who don't you invite? Do the cousins come? Do they, do they not? Um, but her, Meghan's half-sister, Samantha, she's, she's been causing a little bit of trouble recently. She's, um, she's reportedly penning a book and she references her half-sister as the pushy princess. Um, so I don't think the royals will be too happy about that. Ouch. Um, <laughs> when they began dating, um, and, and this is the, the shot, wasn't it, when they announced their engagement, um, Prince Harry released a statement, didn't he, asking for the media to sort of lay off Meghan. I mean, you've Absolutely. always sort of given an indication people want, you know, books written by her sister. Um, so, so do you think that will happen? Or, I mean, there is intense scrutiny of her, isn't there? There absolutely is, and the same goes with any member of the royal family. You just have to look at the columns and see what the Duchess of Cambridge has been doing and see the comments that follow mm. those posts, not just what they write. Mm. Um, so she's, she's used to it. She's an actress, or she was an actress. Um, but it hurts. Of course it does. It hurts for anyone. So far, I mean, I know it's early days, she hasn't really put a foot wrong so far. What she said has been pretty spot on. Mm -hmm. um, she's been uh, obviously got a lot of praise for going to visit the victims of Grenfell as well, didn't she? Some of the families there yeah. off her own back and on her own as well. Mm -hmm. That's a, a really good signifier for us as, as Royal Watchers or those interested in the Royal Family that she's genuinely interested and keen in this job, that she wants to make a difference, which is so important for the Royal Family. Well, we'll just see what happens today. Uh, Victoria Howard, thank you very much for coming to talk thank to you. us.